Hello ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts and those new to Tough Nerd Toys LLC. I'm your host Uncle Nerd and welcome to another exciting episode of Busted Open. Busted it open since 2007 and today we are going to review G.I. Joe Classified Special Missions Cobra Island Alvin Breaker Kibby with Ram Cycle. Now this right here ladies and gentlemen we have to give a very big thank you to Sarah Thomas longtime supporter of Tough Nerd Toys that decided to donate to the donate or pretty much get this for Tough Nerd Toys for me to review. Okay so right here we have the ram cycle and i mean like anybody that knows gi joe knows you have to have a ram cycle now if they do the jeep and everything like that the only thing i have about have a problem with with the six inch stuff um is that those vehicles are big and i don't have the space to really like put them anywhere i would love if i was able to really have like the space to really facilitate some of these vehicles because i would love to have a vamp i love the vamp that brings back good memories but right here i had to get this i had to just pardon um voice break but right here i had to get this guy right here i've been trying i mean like at the time i was like you know a little bit backed up on some bills and everything like that and um you know she was like you know which one you want or whatever the case may be so i was like you know i was like no no it's no big deal next thing i know it pops up in the mail so yeah i have the cobra island gi joe classified alvin breaker Kibby with Ram Cycle. And over here, it is just an absolute beauty to look at in this beautiful, long, rectangular window box right here. Let me bring this a little bit closer so I can show you up close how beautiful this box is or how beautiful this piece is right here. I mean, you have the beautiful artwork of um, Breaker on the bike right there. You have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Alvin Kibby Break, uh, Alvin Breaker Kibby right here. The Cobra Island, Special Missions Cobra Island logo over there. The tech specs on the, I guess this is for, um, it's a big box. This is for Breaker right there. He is number 29 within G.I. Joe. Here are all the target points of Cobra Island that they're going to invade right there. Cobra Island logo over here at the bottom. Hasbro, attention. Got a little window up at the top up here. G.I. Joe classified. Star and uh, what's this? Beautiful, and I mean absolute beautiful artwork of Breaker over here on the side right there. It looks good. Anything on the bottom? Yes, you have the barcode on the bottom so that you can, if you want to, pause this, scan it, write it down, whatever you want to do right there. Legal mumbo jumbo. And boom, I think that's everything for the box. Give me one second. We are going to pull up Breaker on the G.I. Joe app. He should be there. Hopefully he is because some of the characters that I thought would be on there, they're not on there. So give me one second. <clears throat> now, I looked through the app and I did not see, I don't know. Maybe I was scrolling too fast, but again, I don't see Breaker up here. Why they don't have Breaker, I don't know. And I searched all through the app because I love to give you guys the bios on these guys. Me and myself, I have the bio card. So what I'll do is that I will post this, post a bio card up for you guys, okay? Within the video, just look up top right there or look on the screen and you will see the bio card for Breaker. And yeah, that's all that's all we have for the outside of the box of this figure right here. It is absolutely beautiful. Nice big display window box. And then I told, I don't know if I told you as a warning up here for four and plus and everything up there. Beautiful. Now the artwork on here is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to bust open the package and see if Alvin Breaker Kibby with the Ram Cycle is worth the scratch. I don't remember him being called Kibby. I really don't. I just remember they were always calling them Breaker. So here we go. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. And here we have the G.I. Joe Ram cycle with Breaker. Um, Right off the bat, I can tell you that I do think this is a little bit smaller than what I expected because when I, I'll because I'll show you a comparison later on with the Baroness cycle. But um, yeah, it, it, it's nice. I like it. I really, really like it. I like it. Now, um, as usual, you know, I'm going to go into the accessories first and I consider the bike and the Gatling gun and sidecar an accessory. So we're going to bring this a little bit closer and go over this right here. Right here, you have the nice Gatling gun that you get that you got when you got roadblock and everything like this, everything like that. Nice sculpting within the gun done out of a hard plastic. And yes, you can turn the nose of the Gatlin gun to give it a nice turning effect and stuff like that, which is cool. Got the handle. If you have the roadblock special edition or what I call the roadblock classic G1 
um, action figure. This is the same weapon that they gave with him. And I don't mind this being reused at all. If it makes sense, I don't mind when they reuse parts right here. You can see it has holes in the front, nice sculpting around it, done in a nice hard black plastic, looking real good. Great sculpting all the way around it if you look real good. You know, same weapon that Roblox G1 came with where he has the wife beater on, the army fatigue wife beater on. Then you have this nice sidecar right here with great sculpting on the side all around. Got some deco along on the top of it. it. says USA looking beautiful. Got that beautiful USA right there, number 36. I love when they give vehicles numbers on them and serial numbers and stuff. Just adds to the intensity of it right there. Um, Yeah, got a nice opening over here. Two pegs on the side right there. Some nice rivet and bolt sculpting and other sculpting of mechanisms and piping going all along this right here. Hard plastic tire, looking real good, made out of a hard plastic. And you can easily open this up like this, thus so, so that you can put the Gatling gun inside like this. And it easily closes back, as you can see. And it's nice, um, it opens up very easily too, I like that. It doesn't feel like you're going to strain it or break it or anything like that. And if you look inside, you see like there's some textures um sculpted inside of the the sidecar right here which is a nice little attention to detail right there you got detail on the wheels and everything like that looks really 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 good i'm loving this sidecar right here thus far what we're going to do i think we're going to leave this in there for right now hold up do i got it right yeah and close this and it's easy to put in it snaps in real snug you won't hear it snap but it goes in real snug over here and then you have this beautiful ram cycle right here and you can see it has a lot of nice detail detail to it it has the nice rubber type vinyl wheels on it looking real good you got the nice deco on the side the mg 1027 other deco along the side of the of, of the bike right here the nice american america flag right there looks a little beaten and worn and stuff love that look right there adds a little realism to it you got some nice sculpting of piping going on here disc brakes and everything like that the chain the carburetor and stuff like that you know yeah i do ride motorcycles myself haven't rode one in a while but i do ride motorcycles if i see yours i will ask to jump on it um yeah got a nice little seat going on here light in the back made out of a translucent is it a translucent yeah it's like a translucent plastic right here got some gunmetal gray going on to add to the mechanism effects going on here and it says uh distributed what does it say instrument cover oh it says instrument cover through the camera it looks like that it looked like that was a d had to look over a little bit you have some more G.I. Joe logo line. That G.I. Joe just does something to me whenever I see it. It hasn't been embedded in me from the 80s. I was so programmed in the 80s, and I don't mind. MG1027 right there. Beautiful bike. Nice, solid feel to it. Is this translucent? No, this is a silver type of light in the front, but the front of the uh, glass or the shielding of the bike is done in a translucent black plastic right here got some nice steering going on right there movements of the handles you can see like some little diodes and mechanisms in there they did a good re very 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 good job on this bike it looks really good sculpted in the gas tank everything looks real good treads on the tires look good great piping kickstand works very very well everything is beautiful on this bike only thing is i think it's a little bit short but then again when you think about it Cobra had most of the prettier looking stuff. The Joes had the generic looking, you know, the generic looking, classic looking um, vehicles until they started getting into like G.I. Joe 2000 and Battle Force and all that other stuff. But yeah, the vamp cycle looks really good. You can really give it a once over. Anytime I miss something, definitely just point it out. It'll be like, you know, I saw this, I saw that. Has a deco of a wrench right here where you, I guess that's where Breaker can work on the bike or keep some of his tools at no compartments on it nothing opens up that i know of or anything like that and you can easily take the sidecar and put it on thus so and these pegs right here you see the pegs right there line those up boom there and you got a nice looking bike man and it rolls really good too you know you got to do the wheelie when it comes to that and you know who i'm gonna show you with this bike you know who I'm going to show you with the bike. 
later on, right? We, I always felt as though the bike belonged to Rock and Roll and it belonged to Stalker. So yeah, this looks good. This looks really, really good. Now over here, we are gonna go into the man himself, Breaker. Now this Breaker is a little bit different from what I thought he was going to look like. Do I like the fact that they have him in a streamlined G.I. Joe suit? Yes, I actually think they should have put these legs or like these type of legs on Duke or whatever the case may be in the tent, you know, to give him that more streamlined look or whatever the case may be. But I don't mind the flak jacket or the tactical vest that they have on him with the pouches. Helmet looks pretty good. You can take the helmet off as you can see and you get like a nice, you can see like this nice helmet that's going on with breaker breaker's helmet looks pretty good i love the pretty much like the oakley shading they have going on from the purple like you know the polarized um visor that they have right there the headset and everything like this so i guess this can add as breakers communications ensemble but there is one on gridiron that you already know you know like me if i don't like the weapons that my toys come with or whatever the case or my action figures come with i instantly replace them with third party or second party or somebody i get them printed as of recent get them 3d printed or whatever the case may be but the helmet looks good looks really good you got like the antenna and i mean like the microphone it's made out of a soft vinyl right here so be a little bit careful with it doesn't feel like it'll break or anything but you cannot separate these two nor do the goggles or the visor go up and down but you got some nice stitching and sculpting going along the helmet the little crest in the middle right there got all the mechanisms sculpted in with black plastic along the helmet on the outer outskirts of it now you have this figure now a lot of people don't like this face sculpt i think it fits breaker perfectly now they could have they should have came with a little bit of bubble gum or whatever the case may be because i'm used to breaking with that bubble gum man Cause that's what i remember him as in the old gi joe comic but i like this face sculpt i like this face sculpt i mean you can't have a gi joe character without a beard or whatever the case may be yes i'm old school i remember the gi joe dolls gi joe always one of the characters always had to have a beard and stuff like that that added to the macho aspect of him but yeah you got like the nice tactical vest on him he's done in a nice solid green loving like the sleeves are rolled up tactical gloves look good he got the watch on the arm no joe pro like the rest of them though like the first model and i think that first wave they want to kind of like redeem themselves with it because more of the joes that they're coming out with are more like closer to the g1 side and i don't mind them updating them or anything like that but i mean like when they did that first wave it kind of like had like a i don't know like a star wars feel to it or whatever i don't know what they were trying to go with but i'm glad they um changed course or corrected course and started doing them in the g1 style but they can go far with this you know i'm not saying i wouldn't mind seeing some updated shows with maybe like some extra stuff or whatever or different uniforms or whatever you know but yeah you got to do the first wave in like the original g1 stuff now you know you do have some pretty decent sculpting got some good um knee pads on them right here nice boots right there loving the boots how they go up and down and you got some treads on there the laces go up and down i meant to say up and down the boots you got some sculpting along the boot on the back done in a nice black plastic right here everything looks good on this guy now me myself i would more than likely i'm thinking i'm going to take this tactical i may end up taking this tactical vest off of him and getting a harness that um maybe stalker has or whatever given that g1 look you know how most of them have like the same uniform but i do like this figure i'm loving the side profile of breaker right here like the sweat back hair he looks like he has right here he does look like a type of dude that just hangs out or whatever the case may be he'll do drink a beer with you but the um the face sculpt is good i'm really liking this i'm loving the hair sculpt on it and everything he looks good he did they did a good job with him now i do have a little i don't know why they give him these drop down hinges in the middle of the legs right here maybe you guys can answer why but i don't know but he looks really good he's a little now mine's came a little bit loose a little loose and i don't mind that because i guess they want to do it to where so you know he's able to jump off and on the motorcycle as um as easy as possible you know but he does look good now as far as head articula articulation goes his head can go all the way around you get some ab crunch but not that much you get a waist twist because you got this uh tactical vest on him 
or the flak jacket on them and stuff like that you can't really you know do too much ab crunching or anything like that which is weird i don't see why they would put this type of vest on him if he's going to ride the motorcycle or whatever case may be and no he didn't come with any weapons so you know i'm gonna have to find some stuff to tag to give him he at least has to have a machine a submachine gun or a pistol or uzi or something like that like you can't just be sitting break out there naked man and in a way when i was a kid and he didn't come with a weapon he didn't come with a gun as a kid either he didn't come with a weapon as a kid i was like what is he gonna do just go out there and tell on people you better have a weapon it wasn't until the cartoon and some issues of the comic book that you would see him with uh what's the name you would see him with a weapon or something like that but yeah breaker you gotta you gotta get him a weapon gotta get them gotta get my boy a weapon you don't want him out in the field and them cobras just doing target practice on him then playing with his headset and stuff after they punch a whole couple of holes in them and stuff like that but yeah arm goes all the way around yes he does have butterfly joints in here if you look real good bicep swivel double hinged elbow as you can see twisting and pivoting at the wrist going on right there beautiful wonderful leg split because he's very loose in this area for some you see how the leg just dropped down and everything right his um wonderful leg split maybe it's just mine i don't know you know twist at the thigh right here thigh cuts double hinge knee going on right there twisting and pivoting at the calf and you got a calf calf twist as well yep now what we're going to do is pop this helmet on him now the helmet goes like this if you lean it back if you lean it forward it covers his eyes if you lean it back it comes up off of his eyes like that so you know unlike instead of doing the visor thing and i think he looks great with this helmet but he needs he needs a weapon he needs a weapon you gotta have i'm just gonna take a pistol I at least he at least has to have a pistol or something like that now as far as putting them on the bike that is pretty simple you know here's the bike right here let me back this up for you guys so you can see get him in that sitting position real good boom 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 position him position him now you tell me i thought he looked a little bit i don't know but then again the ram cycle is supposed to be you know most of gi joe weapons are supposed to be economic or whatever the case may be in terms of their design you know sometimes i used to love the little single vehicles they made like the sky shark and stuff like that now you can peg his feet into the little holes right here boom put that one let me move the sidecar off real quick be careful so I don't break it because I pushed the side car in there real stiff. Peg his feet into the side car. Come on, come on. Don't be difficult. There you go. Peg his feet in. Peg his feet in. Now, the trigger you know you can use for the clutch and brake. So that looks pretty good right there. Slide, slide his hands in here, slide his other hand into here. I'm trying to be careful because I'll be breaking some of these toys sometimes. And there you have him on the bike. Hold on, let me put the sidecar back on. Hold up. Pull the kickstand down. There we go. No, we don't. Put that in here. Fasten this up a little bit more. And yeah, you can put this in his hand, but I mean, it doesn't look organic with Breaker. Breaker is not a heavy duty guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you expect Breaker to be having like a pistol. If you are going to give him a weapon, Breaker should be having something like a pistol or a, um. I don't know, a little submachine gun, like, you know, like the one that uh, Stalker, I know you guys get tired of me talking about Stalker, but um, the one that Stalker came with, and he looks pretty, I like this bike on him, something is not right, I don't know what it is, okay, there we go, we got him leaned in, because of this type of bike right here, you're supposed to be leaned in a little bit, boy, you know what I'm saying, you sitting up to a little bit too upright for this type of bike, man, and yes, it rolls pretty good, it looks pretty good, I didn't peg in this foot real good onto the peg, but you 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 got the idea. You know how it's supposed to go. There we go. <laughs> and the wheels are very nice, and you have good look. When you turn the steering wheel, the steering wheel turns with the wheel, vice versa. 
So it's really, really good. Great detail all the way around this bike. They did a great job. Um, I just don't think the jacket, the flak jacket or the um, tactical vest was necessary. Helmet works, but they should have gave him his whole setup that they used that breaker should have came with. You know, breaker, he came with the communications backpack, the whole spiel. But I'm liking this a little bit. I think the bike could have been a tiny bit bigger, tiny bit bigger. Maybe it's just me, but I think it could have been a tiny bit bigger. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some pictures of this guy and we will be right back with my final thoughts. Okay. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. I Joe will return after these messages. So as a whole, I think this is absolutely beautiful. You know I had to give it to him, man. I'm not, I don't even know why y'all acting like that, man. You know, you know I had to give it to Stalker, man. Stalker is organic. This, come on, look at this. This is organic GI Joe right here, man. This is organic GI Joe. This is how it's supposed to be. Stalker is supposed to have this bike. They actually would have been smarter if they if they made Stalker with the bike and giving them a um, jetpack in a box set. Who wouldn't have bought that? Who wouldn't have bought that? 
Stalker is organic to the Ram cycle. Now, as far as the figure goes, as far as uh, Breaker goes, he is coming in at about, let's see, Breaker is coming in at about mm, six inches. That's most of the G.I. Joes, and he's looking absolutely great. I do find him to be a bit loose. Why? I don't know why he's so loose, but I guess they did the legs like that so that they can... Um, you know, he can easily fit onto the bike, but the other Joes fit onto the bike with loose, without being loose, whatever the case may be. Um, they, and some of this vest right here is a little bit too much for him because it makes it look like he has chicken legs or, you know, like he's just too hefty to be riding that bike or whatever the case may be with the barrel top and everything like that. I mean, I don't know, but I did give him Stalker's gun for a little bit, just for display purposes only. Stalker wants his gun back. As you know, Stalker likes to have all his weapons on him. I will be more than likely uh, taking this harness, cutting this harness off of Breaker and putting one like this on to give him that nice G1 look. And then, and then getting a box, the uh, communications pack from Gridiron Studios. I'm not being endorsed or supported by them or nor are they giving me anything. But I think the um the uh the pack that they have for breaker, the communications pack that they have for breaker would or the communications pack that they have, period, would fit breaker perfectly on this figure right here. But yeah, he's a great the fit the motorcycle is great. A little bit small for my liking. It needs to be maybe like a half inch bigger like maybe a half inch longer rather and it would have been perfect because in comparison to the barrison the i mean the baron baroness um motorcycle it, it, i mean like the baroness motorcycle is like the squad vehicle like you know what i'm saying this is just like look 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 you be the judge like come on that thing that thing looking looking a little stiff there compared to the, the cobra cobra coil cycle like come on man Come on, man. And I'm not expecting it to be this big, but it could be a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Look at that, man. Look at that. Baroness is just making the Joes looking bad. You know what I'm saying? And you know extensive enterprises Pete gets only the best stuff in terms of when it comes to the bosses and villains and stuff. But I still love the Ram Cycle. I love it. I love it. I do like what they're doing with the six inch line of Joe's. Only thing is I don't have room for if they were to make a vamp, a vamp would be pretty big and I wouldn't be able to have room for that stuff, or whatever the case may be. Now, in a three and a quarter inch Joe's, yes, I can do it. But yeah, uh, Breaker's coming in at six inches. Here he is next to G.I. Joe. Here he is next to let's move this over right here next to Beachhead. Looking good next to Beach Hill. Let me bring it closer. Here he is with six foot two, eyes of blue, Mr. Hauser. Looking good. Here he is with, uh, let me see, Zaymont. You have cheap vehicles. <laughs> and here he is with, stop, don't before you even see it. My name's not David Nora. My real name is model number 4506. But hi, you're in the communications. If you need a job, you can come to me and give me your email. What, first off, you can't come in the office with weapons like that, nor can you wear those eye visors because they're pretty intimidating to the other people at work and myself as well. That was David Nora always trying to push the agenda, always trying to hire someone. So, yeah, David Nora has stopped in. And you know what? I'll start doing a comparison with David Nora with other figures. I am not compared to other men to make me feel inferior. I don't care how tall or big he is or how much skin he's showing, even though he does look have a nice body. There he is next to David Nora. And yeah, Breaker looks good. Breaker looks good. There are some um, modifications I would make, the bit, but the only problem is, is that the legs are a little loose. As you can see, ankle was a little loose and everything like that, but I guess they did that so that he can be on the bike. Or maybe it was just a QC issue or whatever the case may see. I don't uh, case may be. I don't know. But Breaker looks good. Breaker looks good. I just don't think he should have all of this kibble on him or and stuff like that. So I mean, you know, I, 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 I if I I think I covered everything. Got to bring this bike at back in the into the um, picture. It looks good. It looks really good. And all the Joes can fit on the bike as well as the Cobras, so on and so forth. So, I mean, I think it's great. I think it's great. 
Does it have a few issues? Yes, in terms of size, I think it should have maybe been a half inch, uh, maybe a half inch bigger. Cause no, the Ram cycle was always kind of like compact, but you could tell they were on a bike. It didn't always, it didn't look, I don't know. This just makes me feel like they had something and they just wanted to reuse a sculpt or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I could, I could be wrong. I don't know. But it looks a little small for the Joes. But then again, it doesn't. But then again, it does. So yeah, I guess that's it. And you know what? Let me do a comparison with my man right here. He man, he man. And you know, he man is a seven incher. So that gives you about a scale or a scope of how big he is. So with that being said, that brings this review to a close. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video. And remember, when you buy a toy, what do you do? Bust it open. I don't have anything special there because Breaker barely even talked. He, well, he talked and you know, what was it? In the uh, original G.I. Joe miniseries and stuff like that. I think he had one line, some junk he said while he was at headquarters. I don't know. But yeah, catch you guys later. Love you.